Today we are crossing the Tigris River, point of entrance towards the Northern Federation of Syria. Our goal is to look for those Christian soldiers that are bravely fighting Daesh every day, now for more than four years. From 2013 until 2017, the Caliphate was the Lord and Master of Raqqa. Sharia law was prevailing, terror, violence, cruelty and hatred were daily feelings for citizens of Raqqa, until the US-led coalition along with the Syrian Democratic Forces started the offensive against al-Baghdadi's power base. <laughs> The Syrian Democratic Forces consist of a variety of Kurdish, Arab, Christian soldiers, both men and female. Here, the Christian soldiers of the Syriac Military Council are getting ready to go to the front line. Many Christian soldiers proudly expose their tattoos with crosses, rosaries and face of Jesus Christ. In the North Federation of Syria, the right to religious freedom is widely accepted and soldiers are not scared to demonstrate their faith. We decide to go with them inside the Raqqa. We are in Raqqa, inside the Syrian Christian headquarters. Uh, the sounds of the high strikes uh, can be heard from far away. Its panorama can only remind us the one seen in some documentaries of Berlin 1945. Our soldier died here, in that area, in mine. We ask him if the square is free of mines. So you don't know what you have under the stones. For that, I, uh, That's why we have I to follow exactly their steps. steps. In the middle of the ruins, uh, we encountered a sign of love. Uh, there were uh, Christians, Armenian uh, civilians there too. They uh, now they are in our uh, area. There were seven Christians there in in Raqqa city between the ISIS. They were paying money just for living. And when we ask about how they were treated, like uh, less than the human there, because they are not Islamic. Uh, they are using the cars, the bomb cars, the airplanes, and the civilians. And exactly when he tells us about the car bombs, and the sky of Raqqa turns black. A Daesh car bomb exploded a few hundred meters from us. We decide to go back to that quarter, where we meet the Christian fighting women, who, taking up the arms against Daesh and fighting alongside men, have done much more for advancing women's rights so far than decades of Western feminism. <laughs> Children playing kites welcome us in the refugee camp of Ain Issa. 10,000 people are living in tents burnt by the sun's heat. We are inside the refugee camp outside uh, Raqqa. Uh, this camp uh, has been supported by the North Federation of Syria, but uh, just a few international aid uh, uh, associations are helping these refugees. Many of the children in the camp have been traumatized by life under Daesh in Iraq. They grew up watching public torture, violence and mass killings every day. The Northern Federation of Syria has a plan to assist them with professional psychologists to help them to recover from the shocks, but more funds are needed. 
Syria will have to reshape its future with these children, not only from a political perspective, but also from a human perspective, avoiding to have a lost generation.